Okay, so the sun wasn't cooperating on the other side. So I'm gonna have to show you on this side about how to install the window channel. First you need your window channel, your clips. I have some old clips also that I pulled out of the door. Sometimes they work better. I find that the arc on them, on the clips where they snap in, is actually a better angle to catch in the doors. However, they're pretty rusted out sometimes, so I'm very grateful that they make new clips for these. So, so I've also got the felt. Uh, first things first, we have to run the channel through. Now we start at the top here, match up the two ends, and then you can find the very top middle of it. Now in these doors on the bigger trucks, there's three holes right in the top. Sometimes I've found new holes have been drilled, so I just use them all. I put a, a marker clip to let me know where the exact middle point is, and I feed this down through the door. So right there, and you pop it in. Find your, where your next clip is, and just kind of that hole, put my finger here, put the, the channel up in it, and then bring it down with my finger so I know exactly where it is. I won't worry about those things popping out. It's going to happen. So now, pop it back in. It takes a little repositioning to get them right. Sometimes it takes a little force to get them in there. I like to use a screwdriver and push in there. Maybe just reposition her a little bit. It's very important to push this channel up into the slot as far as you can. You don't want to lose the curvature of the door though. I mean, in this corner, you can actually push it past. Keep it in the curvature of the door. You run your finger along, you can feel the door and you can feel this channel right flush with it. Straight on here, make just a little mark with a screwdriver and I know right where the center of the clip will be. Not lining it up with that hole. Now see, this clip is a little off, so I'm trying to get it a little more centered here. See, I don't really like that. I'm gonna pull it out again because it's just pulling it a little too much. So push up on the window, push up on that. Reposition it down a little bit. It's popped in. You can see that's, that's what you want right there. Now let's come down this side. So now we've got a hole right here that's seemingly impossible to see. You can mark this as you go along with a whiteout pen, but I find that just putting the clip on there and repositioning it as you need to works really well. Got this hole right here. All right, so moving to the bottom of the door, now you're working blind. There's two holes, typically. Sometimes in these trucks I've found more holes that either someone drilled or whatever. They got there somehow. Now, luckily, just for the illustration of what we're working with, I have this inside of a door. It's the same side that we're working on, the side that faces the cab, the inside of it. You can see here we have the tracks that come down on each side. And then we have the holes at the bottom of the tracks. That's what we're looking for right now, blind. It's just a lot of reaching your hand in a hole, holding a the clip. Then when you find the right place where the channel is going straight, you just uh, clip it on there and hopefully you can get it to snap in that hole. Well, not hopefully, you gotta do it. Now, I'm, I'm, I found where the hole is. I've got my channel going straight. 
and now I'm holding on to it with a couple fingers here. I've got my finger right here. There's a place marker right here. That's where the hole is. So I'm going to start by putting the clip on there. So I'll push it back in there and I'll hopefully get close to that hole. Obviously, I, it'd be nice to nail it dead on the first time, but that's rarely how it works. You can't go into this thing and you're just gonna line up these holes immediately. This job is all about minute adjustments until you get it exactly right. Just take your time. It doesn't help that this door has been beat in a little bit. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get it unsprung. Got it pretty much right the first time after all that talk. Let's see if I can bop it in there. Feels pretty good. All right, now the other side. Now, this side is slightly more difficult because you're working with the door latch on that side. So, you want to kind of walk it into that channel all the way down. The channel that you can see in the other door, how it runs down the side. Again, I'm gonna find that hole, try to hold my finger on it. One of the things that's easy to find this last hole on the ends of these channels is that the channel will end and then there'll be a flat piece. So you know that's right in the center of that is where the hole is. Once again, I'm pulling my finger out here, which is my placeholder for where that clip's gotta be. The second hardest part about this job is continually making minute adjustments just to get it right. The hardest part about this job is trying to make your hand work inside this tiny door. And she just popped right in there. We've got this channel flush all around this window here. And it feels good inside of here. Maybe my phone, oh, look at that. So now that we have our channel in, Now's a great time to put the window regulator back in. You don't want it in there when you're putting the channel in because you don't want to get all this grease all over yourself or the channel. All right, let's put a window in here. The glass goes back in the same way it came out, diagonally nose down. At this point, you twist the window to get it in the upright position while aiming it into the channel. I like to put the glass in before I put the felt in because it tends to push the channel back into its grooves. So now I'm holding it with one hand here. I'm gonna move the camera around because the rest happens inside the door. All right, now if you're working on a KB truck, you're gonna notice that this window carrier looks different. This is a KB window carrier. You notice it has the keyholes. This carrier is off a late 30s D series international. So is this window regulator. Now, at some point in this truck's life, it had this regulator and window changed out. On the bigger KB trucks, the window regulator and windows are compatible with D series trucks from the late 30s, and the cabs are almost identical. On these trucks, it just, it just slides right in there. Now, really easy it seems, but I think the reason that they went to the keyhole in the 40s is that when you roll this thing down to the point to take the window off, when it reaches the end of this, the window just falls into the door unless you're holding it. So now this is the point we're gonna grease up the window carrier. You don't do it before because you'll end up with grease all over your hands and everything and the door. So just smear that good stuff in there. And you can do this just before you put the window on here. I'll show you. See how that just falls out of there? Hold it up with one finger here. This is helpful sometimes because that front track is hard to get while it's on there. Just 
it gets right in there. Okay, so we're putting the felts on the top of the door here. These little guys should pop right into these holes. Sometimes with these felts, you have to tweak them a little bit. Sometimes you have to remove the little clips and just adjust them around on the felt. It's a little bit of a pain, but you know, if you do it right, you don't have to deal with problems later. That said, this one on the end is just not cooperating. So I'm popping them out again. And this one I have to shuffle down a little bit that direction to dig in, unclamp it. Sometimes you can just adjust them down on here with a screwdriver, just leveraging on them, but I just want to make sure this one's perfect. So I'm going to clamp this down with a vice grips on this end. I straighten out of this end with another vice grips. See, that kind of straightens it right out. Now, whenever you take these things back out of the holes, it helps to open up these little teeth again. See, they kind of compress a little bit. And you want them to be springy to catch those holes. These ones look pretty good. What I found on this truck, on this particular door, is that the window glass is sitting right here. So it's gonna be almost impossible for me to get this felt in, the inner felt. With a K-series window carrier, you would roll it down and it would sit in the keyholes. However, being this a D-series window, it would just fall right off of the carrier. So I'm just gonna to have to take the window off the carrier, set it diagonally or vertically in the door, sitting in the bottom, put this in and then reinstall the window from the bottom. Now, another thing, sometimes these are just a little long and they're running interference with the, the window channel. And you just grip these lightly in a vise and just trim the ends of these with a cutoff wheel. All right, so I've never installed a, a D-series window before, so we're learning together on this one. I'm going to lower the window to the point that the window is going to detach from the regulator. And then I'm going to turn the window just a little bit so it's not sitting to a point that I can't pick it up. Now, I cleaned out this door before I started this process because there, there was a just ton of broken glass and mouse nests and all kinds of stuff. I found actually the door stop, which is usually missing on these trucks. I found some old channel clips. And I found part of an old door latch and the old lock. Uh, and they were just twisted up. So this door has had a hard life before it got to me. So this, we might be able to get away with just dropping it. It feels like that's enough. We're just setting this thing on top of the pins of the regulator. Now I can feel up on top of the window and it's sitting down about an inch from where it was. We should be able to put these felts in real quick and get this back on track. Literally. All right, so we're back up on top here. The window is down recessed into the door. We've got our felt. I think I've got it perfectly spaced. Much like the channel clips, your screwdriver is your best friend on this guy. Now, if it's just off by a fraction of an inch, you can usually manipulate it by pulling on it. In. Let's say you go through this whole thing, you make sure all your felts are flat, all your channels good, everything, windows seated perfectly, and it still doesn't go up correctly. See how you still have this crack right here? I'm gonna show you how to fix that. First, you're gonna bring your window all the way down like this. Take a screwdriver, pop this little hole plug off. There's a nut right here, we talked about it before. It's usually a 9 16 Don't take it off, just loosen it. Now, the way that your window is seating, let's say it's it's tipping forward like it was, you're gonna reach in here and you're gonna push up on the front of the window carrier. Retighten. That's how she's done. Okay, so here we are. We've got all the windows in. They're going up straight, they're sealing. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, tell your friends. If you got a better technique or anything, I want to hear it. So put it in the comments. If you've got any questions, I'll try to answer them. And uh, stay tuned for more bare knuckle binder.